Number one, hey, here's advice for the week. All right, hey, Bill, I'm twenty. I'm a twenty one year old guy who still lives with his parents. That's not bad in this economy. That's totally acceptable. Um, I have, unless you're sitting at home and uh, you're jerking off to porn and maxing out your credit cards, and that's a dumb thing to do. Hey, you know what? No porn for this year. Is that what you decided? I have, I have yet to watch porno this year. Well, it's still early. So. And uh, Jesus, there's that support. There's that support, everybody. Why do you need me to support you not watching porn? I don't have a problem if you watch porn. You know what? Somebody sent me an article. I got to hit pause again because I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna find this. Somebody hit, uh, sent me an article about how watching too much online porn, how it's not healthy for you and can actually add to dep- uh, to, to uh, depression. If I can say that word, I feel like it probably gives you like a higher expectation of what your sex life should be, but. You know, because we're well, not yeah, all porn ba- stars. Back to uh, what you feel should be going on in your life in a moment. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> no. I feel like he should be able to pick me up over his over his head and turn me upside down and do things to me. Is that unreasonable? With my back problems, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second. You know what? Sorry to say, I can't find that fucking email that dude sent me, and all I found was a bunch of people trashing that online porn is not addictive. <laughs> and saying that it isn't bad for you. But I don't know. It, it's just, just, you know. It depends on your personality. Yeah. It's one of those deals. Nia, why don't you put the microphone over your shoulder? You're at least sitting there playing with you. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get a, uh, a desk down here with two fucking chairs. So the mic will be, you know. Yeah. Right there. Okay. And then, okay. Okay. All right. We want, we'll, we'll work on it. Okay. All right. I feel like you have something to contribute and I just don't Thank feel like you. people are hearing you. See okay. how I did that, people? I complimented her. I stroked her ego so she can do it. Thank you. That's, that's all I was looking for. I just want people to know that I'm here. Um, I have not watched porn. Uh, this whole, I, sometime at the end of December, I watched something. And it was so disgusting that when I was done, I actually bursted out laughing <laughs> as if I just watched Bridesmaids. It was just, and I was just like, what is wrong with me? Like, I actually got to that point in porn where the porn was so fucked up, it was just funny to me. Uh, not that the people were doing it. Just, there was just something pathetic. And I was like, you know, I got to walk away from this. Hey, yeah. last year I didn't drink. This year I'm, 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 I'm swearing off the porn. Okay. See that? All right. I'm always trying to become a better person, Nia. And what do you do? Constantly shit all over me. By the way, you got a couple of shout outs in Houston. Oh, did I? Yep, when I brought out the podcast. Yay. And I said I, I was with a, a wonderful lady. What's up, a few Houston? people yelled, Nia. And then one of your friends texted you and said, oh, you got a couple of shout outs. So then when you brought it up in the car, I was like, you were like, what does that mean? What does that mean? I got like shout out. Like you don't know what a shout out is. I didn't. Yeah, you did. You, you wanted to hear what people said. <laughs> Read what the did they the email. say? Were they chanting my name? That's going to be the end of us, Nia, when people start liking you more than me. And then we're going to break up like Sonny and Cher, but still perform together for a little bit. If we break up, your fans are going to hate me. I just know it already because they because they're already going to be on your side. They're just going to automatically Way to side take with all you. the fun out of it. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's loyal, what they do. They, they like you first. You. And I'm always going to be second fiddle. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I don't blame them. All right. Number one. Numero uno. Ahora. Uh, hey, Bill, I'm a 21 year old guy who still lives with his parents. I have a history of being very introverted. Oh, my God. If you start saying that you torture <laughs> small animals, I'm going to stop reading this. I've been that way ever since I was in junior high. Well, what were you in uh, elementary school? Were you going all out? <laughs> no, because I, I would have I related to that. Uh, I'm in college now, and I've become more social, at least when I'm on campus and at my job. But I'm having a really hard time building a life for myself outside of those arenas. Did I write this to myself 20 years ago? <laughs> totally relate to this guy. I don't really have much of a life. I'm really bored most of the time, and I feel like I'm wasting my youth. All right. I know that I have to go out more and hang out with my friends. Uh, it's up to me to take some kind of initiative. Cleo, for fuck's sakes, get out of my face. And if it was up to me, I, would, I, I totally would. I live with my parents, though, and that's why it's kind of tricky. My parents are very into the Lord. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, I don't really share their beliefs. Good for you. And so when I want to go out, uh, the evening usually includes a variety of activities that my parents would give me a hard time about. Normal stuff such as drinking a little weed, man, and secretion of the semen. Oh, God. Ugh. 
Okay. You have to put so it Wait like a minute. That? You're drinking, you're smoking weed, and you're getting laid? What's the problem? The problem is you live with your parents. No, does he want to do that and he doesn't? Or he's saying... No, he's saying he goes out and he does this shit and his parents are giving him a hard time. So he's doing this shit. Maybe he's getting guilt. Why don't I read the rest of it? Um, I know that I'm a young adult and I'm old enough to make my own decisions. A lot of my own decisions, he says. I just don't have the strength of character to look my parents in the eye and have a discussion about all this stuff with them. I especially have the problem with my mom. She was raised religious and has a very different idea about being 21 than I do. I just don't feel like she would understand if I tried to have a conversation with her about my thoughts. I wish I could just come and go as I please without being bothered. I have a car, but I can't avoid the questions about where I've been. I know that my personal life is my business, and I don't share all of it, but they don't seem to understand that. On top of all this, I'm obligated to go to church every week, and I say, I would rather fuck my own ass than go to one more church service. All right, dude, <laughs> you, you, ha- you got to move out. Yeah. You got to move out. But exactly. the end, I feel trapped. I want to move out. There it is. But I have no money, and doing my job selling burgers isn't going to pay the rent in any place. Um, I know. I'm not sure what to do. Please, for the love of God, rescue me. Oh, Jesus. Rescue yourself. Yes, rescue yourself. You got to, uh, you're 21. You're still working your way through college, right? Um, yeah, you got to, you got to get on a track where you're going to get some sort of better paying job. Exactly. Get a better paying job. Find a roommate situation because you're not going to be able to afford Why don't you take some student loans? Take out some student loans, you know, which is a bad fucking idea because then you'll be even further in debt. Yeah. I was going to say live at school. There's a way to do it. Yeah. Why can't you live All right. How should he do it? Because I don't have anything. Well, you know what, though? He's probably not living on campus because maybe his parents can't afford it. So that's why he's living at home. They can't afford that part of the education. Either that or they don't believe that they should live there because of all the sinners he'd be with. Exposed you know, to, yeah, yeah. The devil is in that no, quad. No, you just got to work his ass off. You need to get another job. You got to find a roommate situation. Save up and- your money. Get a car with a bench seat. Do all your fucking in there. <laughs> and then come home and just always have library books that you're walking in with. And just live a lie. Yeah. Until you have the money to move out. You don't have to ne- yeah, you don't have to necessarily <laughs> talk to your parents about anything in particular unless they're doing something that's really abusive to you or something. You don't have to talk to them about your life. It's your life. Yeah, try sarcasm. What'd you do tonight? <laughs> uh smoke crack and got a hooker. Good night, mom. <laughs> Exactly. Then she'll be praying the rest of the night and she'll leave you alone? No, but you got to make some uh, sacrifices so you can save some money, get an apartment with a roommate, and uh, live your own life. He's but flipping you're being- burgers, though. How can he do that? This is like a guy Nia, who's on the verge of, of selling drugs. Isn't that what they always say? What am I going to do, sell burgers? I need to make some money. Well, I don't know. You, got, I, you know what? His, I'm not, I'm not ghetto, his ghetto sure is there. His ghetto was his parents' house. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> get 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 another job. Ask for a raise. You you got to figure it out. But I think you're also becoming a little bit complacent because you don't have to pay bills and your parents buy your food for you and all that other stuff. So I think there might be a, yeah. Get a, a car with a bench seat on your part to really fully leave. Get a car with a bench seat. That's all I'm saying. What is all a right? bench seat in a car? What is a bench seat? It doesn't yeah. have like the little console. It's not bucket seats. Oh. It's one of those ones back in the day, you know. Yeah, you could fuck in cars. Yeah, yeah, I like know. Like you what you're could, ne- about. you could never do that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the bench seat, like my 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 truck has. Yes, yes, it huh? does. Have, have you told them the- about your your truck? No, I didn't. I bought an old Ford truck, and uh, it's, no, Jesus. Yeah, it's got a three sixty V eight shifts three on the tree, and I'm getting some new headers put on it because uh, you could light my breath on fire. <laughs> When I would drive, this young I, would, man. I would drive it like Ace Ventura down the street because everybody kept telling you, "No, your headers look fine." I'm like, "Dude, I'm telling you, you could light my breath on fire if I drive this thing for 45 fucking minutes." Because they would drive around the block and be like, "Dude, it's fine," and you couldn't see anything really come. At least our untrained eyes. So, uh, uh, I get, get it back today. Yes, you do. <laughs> getting back to uh, getting back to this whole uh, scenario here, you need to uh, stop having your little pity party there. And uh, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Get your shit together. No more of this. I'm awkward. I don't have friends. I don't understand. Da 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 da. Start reaching out to some people. Figure out what to do about a job. Save your pennies. Get a car with a bench seat and do what you want to do. And move your ass out. Yeah, Figure yeah. it out. Start right. talking to people. Maybe someone's looking for a roommate and they're like, hey, you know, only a, a couple hundred bucks. I'll let you sleep oh, on my couch. Get shit. You know? All right. Number two. <laughs> Asshole. Well, you just kept saying the same thing over look, and over. Look at Cleo. Cleo, She's so get out of here. curious about what's going on.